like a Jedi sword. You know, like from Star Wars, you know, the force is strong with you, Luke, and etc. So what we have here is a standard engineer ruler that comes with not only 1 to 1, 1 to 100, but also 1 to 20, 1 to 200, and 1 to 5 to 1 to 50, and lastly, 1 to 1250 up to uh, 2500 scale. Um, but I actually have been using this tool for more than 20 years since I studied architecture from my uni, and I still use this on and off um, for my business as well, which relates to architectural work. But what really uh, I'm shocked about is that we're stuck with this technology here, this tool, uh, for many, many years, and no one, despite there's so many clever people in the world, no one actually came up with a brilliant product that could go beyond this fixed um, scale. What I mean by that is, what if you actually print out a um, random scale plan? How do you work out the rest of the measurements? And it takes so much of your time to work things out. So you gotta go into the software, use Photoshop or AutoCAD, etc. You know what I mean. But what if I tell you we got a very interesting fantastic tool that is invented by Hozo Design called the Neo Ruler. The name itself, we know it's gonna revolutionize our industry. So this is from Hozo Design again, and I have actually featured some of their products already called Mezzo, and I love uh, the invention, the fantastic invention that Hozo Design come up with because it directly links to my business and my interest as well, which is architectural work. So if you're a student of architecture or if you are also someone who runs um, business related to architecture, please do check out this new technology called Neo Ruler. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you by first doing the unboxing. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's take off the seal and the lid is out. So we got the Neo Ruler finally, people. So let's see how that looks. Wow. So you could actually scroll here and there. And we got the tiny screen here. That's very interesting indeed. And the USB-C plug to charge it. And that's the sideways, how it looks. It's a really nice weight, actually. Um, made of mixture of metal and we got the Neo Ruler Hoso design and the battery capacity of 900 milliamp hour. And then once we take out the rest of the item, I think that's about it for the package. Right, so we got a good quality uh, USB-C cable, actual um, manual here. So um, just a quick instruction. So the quick run through of Neo Ruler is that on the left hand side, we got buttons of um, triangular, circle and square. So the triangular means go back or cancel, circle means select and the square with the line in the middle means a different mode. So at the moment, the first mode that you can see is the uh, standard ruler. So if we were to select that um, and then move along, you can see the blue light of bar increasing as you move like a Jedi sword. You know, like from Star Wars, you know, the force is strong with you, Luke, and etc. And as you increase that, uh, the scale, you can also get the measurement out of it as well. So that's pretty cool. So if you were to go back, and choose a different mode. Now, this is probably gonna be my favorite. Now, if you have um, a scale that is very random, you definitely use this mode, okay? With ruler and a pen on. And then if you were to select that, um, and then what you do is go through the um, other scale. So let's say if you were to um, choose, a, if you found a scale bar, and then if you were to increase that, so let's say that is a certain metric value, uh, then if you convert that saying that that is actually uh, the scale of in meters or millimeters of, you can change that by 
you know, pressing the selection. So you can see the scale is actually going up to 1.2, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. And result, you can also see the scale going 87.73, which is a ridiculous figure to one. And then once you select that, you just go back, and then you can see that figure still go is maintained. And as you move it around, you can see the um, measurement is changing by the scroll going up and down in these. So we'll try that out later on. This is actually divi dividing option, okay? So if you were to select that one, you can see that the division of the line is actually increasing and decreasing. And you can actually customize that by up to nine divisions, starting from one to nine. And this is very useful, for example, like if you wanna draw a line or if you wanna divide a certain line into certain bits, that's what you use this for, okay? So you can see that it is increasing and decreasing and the proportion of the, each division is actually following through as well. So that's very, very clever indeed. So if you look at the actual measurement itself, it says that uh, the whole length of 289.14 is divided into uh, nine pieces of 32.13, which is really clever indeed. And lastly, if we go back to the um, selection of mode, we got the settings as well. So on the settings, we got the first option of using it as an either a ruler, or if you want to use this um, neo ruler as uh, checking the thickness of it, you can actually buy the accessories from Hoso Design official website to measure the thickness. So what happens is that if you select this one, you can see the screen going upside down, and then you'll be able to measure the thickness of certain objects, okay? And then the second one that we can see here is the uh, unit conversion, standard unit conversion from inch to centimeters, millimeters, uh, yards, and all, and etc. And the third option is that um, you can use different scale of these units that is being shown here. So if you're based in US, and you have any preference, that's what you go through, okay? Now, if you carefully look at this uh, measuring scroll itself, you can actually pull it up and take it out and replace it with different kinds of accessory. For example, you can buy a magnetizer tip in the top that you can zoom in and make sure you measure more accurately, or you can actually get a pen guide so that if you wanna stop in a certain length, uh, you can use that accessory to stop and draw it up in a straight line indeed as well using this neo ruler. And also, finally, we got a really nice uh, cover for this neo ruler. You wanna make sure you maintain this ruler in a good matter. And for the battery life, I've been told that this will, if you use it for constantly, you can use up to one week and a standby could last up to one month. So finally, let's find out the practicality of this unit. So I'm actually gonna enter the first mode by using the ruler itself, which is actually on millimeters. So we can see that if I were to start from this edge of this floor plan, and if I were to scroll that and stop, then you can see that the uh, figure is 97.92 millimeters, okay? So as I move around, uh, this is scaled to um, one to one, okay? But if I want to change this to a certain scale, uh, so this is replacement of the engineer uh, ruler, isn't it? So this could go to one to one. Um, what's the other one? One to 100, one to one to five, uh, one to 150, one to 200, one to 250, one to 300. <laughs> I've never seen a 300 before. 400, 500, and one to one. Those are the variation you can actually try out. So this is the second option, my favorite. You could virtually come up with any random skill and work things out from it, okay? So this printout here is supposed to be printed out on A3, but I actually printed out an A4 for the purpose of the test. And you can see that uh, some of the figures are actually shown. I actually use my CAD as a reminder to show how accurately is being measured by using this meso here. So if we enter this mode by pressing the circle, what you do is you press the um, scale and then select. So 
what I do have here is a scale bar. So this is 10 meters, okay? So what I'm gonna do is then choose the um, 0.2 to click on it. And then what I need to do is uh, move it up to what I believe is 10 meters. So you wanna make sure the blue line, I don't know whether you can see here, is covering up to the 10 meters of the length of the scale bar here, okay? So let's say that's all good to go. And then what you do is you select um, OK. And then next to it is that um, you make sure that that is actually into millimeters. You choose 10 meters, OK? So by pressing the um, circle, you can see that the digit is actually now increasing up to 10, OK? So what you do is you press back and that's all selected. So you can see that it's dead um, 10,000 zero millimeters. So that scale of virtually um, one to one, four, five point three. So that's how accurate it is. So let's try out some of the measurements here, shall we? So if I were to, uh, so this table here, I can see that is one eight five zero millimeters. Um, okay. One point eight five uh, zero so if I were to then make sure the blue highlight ends here and then carefully actually lining it up and stop look at that so that's how much of a reading I get so one eight six one which is slightly off but pretty good for the scale we're dealing with at the moment. You can, if you bear in mind that this is a really tiny floor plan comparing to what we work on. So let's try another one, shall we? So this is supposed to be 2.4 meters, okay? So if I were to scroll it here and then make sure all the blue lines up with the width of this table yeah, so again, we got the um, 2438.25. That's how accurate you can reach up to. So for the logical matter, we all know that this is roughly 2.4 meters and we can work things out by doing measurements here and there. So this is so much fun and you don't need to do all the calculation on your head. For example, this is 2.2. So all you need to do is slightly move it here and you get 2.2 indeed which you can see is roughly around here yeah so you can see that blue is actually covering up the area i think it needs to be the blue color edge up to the measurement that you need to read and you can see that it's 2.192 so it's eight mil um, off but it's still we could figure out that it's 2.2 uh, meters of a measurement. So as this has a Bluetooth connection function, if you want to uh, keep some of the measurements in the memory, uh, you actually connect the Bluetooth into your smartphone and by using the Meso app, you can keep those measurements and uh, you can look back on it if you need to. So one of my colleagues at work who deals with costings, um, he will print out most of the plans onto A4 uh, paper and then probably for the next 20 or 30 minutes trying to figure out what sort of scale it is on A4. Um, and then if you can't work out the scale, he will cautiously approach me, asking me to use my AutoCAD to blow up into scale and then read out each individual length of the partition so that he could actually jot down and then work out the overall length of the partition that we're gonna build for a certain project. So you can imagine, not only it takes incredible amount of his time, but also it interrupts my time as well. But by having this revolutionary um, high-tech device called Neo Ruler from uh, Hoso Design, uh, no, I no longer need to be involved with that process and he could easily work out the scale because the screen itself on the right hand side bottom corner will immediately tell him what sort of scale it is and each individual partition or pieces of furniture he can also work out the width and the size as well. So I'm incredibly excited to apply this in our current 
office environment to see how much of an improvement we're going to have and no doubt we're going to immediately see the impact on it and i'm sure if you're in a similar working environment this is also going to revolutionize on your working environment as well so i hope this video showed you how useful this neo ruler the new era of technology will be on our um daily routine of um, not only on daily lives but also in office environment but if you have any queries or if i haven't covered uh, certain parts that you want to find out please do comment below and overall thank you very much for watching this video this is ljb tech all the best bye bye